All right, good morning. It is time for the uh, NFL 1989 season replay using my Apple Simple Solo Express charts. The uh, game number 20 of 224, the Miami Dolphins uh, are in New England to face the Patriots. Using my automated play calls, obviously these four players, and I will decide the ball carrier and the receiver. I will track stamina for uh, receivers. Okay, so, and I'm using my simple solo express rules. Almost uh, all of them, my optional rules. So, all right, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so Miami's going to get the ball first. Kickoff by uh, uh, Starovsky, Jason Stravalski. 62, 40. It's going to put us at the three yard line. And Mark Logan in week one had a uh, career day returning two kickoffs against Buffalo to beat Buffalo in Buffalo. So we already know what Mark Logan can do. And 56. 56 is 18. Mark Logan is dangerous. Uh, 27 yards out to the 30 already. And this is a huge advantage for Miami. Their special teams kick returner. He's going to be the equalizer uh, for this team. Miami's actually pretty good. 37-39 on defense. So they are darn good. New England, however, 34-33. So New England's not too hot. All right, if we pass, we're going to be looking for Duper. Pass versus standard 21. Dan Marino drops back. And throws to Duper, 14, wrong, uh, no defense, 7-yard strike to Duper, 2nd 7. And Mark Duper with his first catch of the day. All right, here we go. Dan Reno, if we throw, we're going to throw Jensen out of the backfield. It's going to be a run versus run defense. 55 is going to be Sammy Smith. Sammy Smith gets 17, and they do have the right defense, 5 yards, 1st down. So, first first down of the game, Dan Marino with a strike and a Sammy Smith a first down run. That's brilliant. All right, if we uh, pass, we're going to go to Farrell Edmonds. He had a huge day in week one as well, catching two of Dan Marino's four touchdown passes. All right, it's going to be run versus run. So, Miami content to run the ball a little bit here. Sammy Smith again, 63. 63 is going to be 31. 31 right defense. We don't check that, so it's three yards. We do not, we do not move anything beyond 22. Second down. All right. If we pass, we're looking for Mark Clayton. Yep. Pass versus standard. 54. Dan Marino drops Pats, and 36. He fires it out incomplete. Third down. Ooh. ooh. Can New England get the job done here on the first drive? We're gonna go back to Duper. He was open on that first play of the game. Maybe we can get open again here for. And it is third and seven. Pass versus standard. So New England is not showing any kind of defense early, except run defense. 16, Marino, 18. That's going to be minus 117, incomplete. And it is fourth down. Uh, from the 45, we're going to have to bring out Reggie Roby. And we are going to subtract five from this coffin corner punt. 46. 46 is... Whoops, that's Roby's kickoff card. There he is. It's like, that doesn't look right. 46 is 8. Uh, subtract 5, 38 yards. 10, 20, 30, and 8. So that's going to put them with an opportunity to return it at the 17 as Sammy Martin comes up on this. 66, Sammy Martin with a great return, 30 yards, 3, 10, 25, 26, 27, there it is, 30 yards. Sammy Martin up to the 47-yard line for New England. The fans here on their feet as Miami has to punt early in this 1989 game. All right, uh, Miami scored 45 points against Buffalo in the first game of the season, gave up 34. New England, um, oh shoot, I can't remember what happened to New England. The Miami game was 
very memorable as it was my very first game ever with the 89 set. So I really wanted to play that Miami game. Uh, New England lost to the Jets 26-24. Stevens had two rushing touchdowns though in that game. So they were close to winning that game against the Jets. So New England's 0-1. Let me write this down. 0-1. Miami's 1-0. Okay, New England takes over. Uh, again, New England is uh, definitely not the better of the two. This is, though, a talented receiving core. Pretty good backfield with Perriman and Stevens. And Grogan, not your finest passer, but he was athlete. He was athletic, mobile. All right, we're going to look for Irving Fryer if it's a pass. No, it's going to be run versus standard for Miami. 56 for Stevens is one yard. Second down. All right, run versus run. Miami and New England are going with strength versus strength. Uh, 52 for Stevens is going to be 27. He's going to lose. No, no, he doesn't lose anything. Third down, though. Uh, we're going to stick with Irving Fryer as our main target on the first pass. Yep, it's going to be pass versus pass. So Miami is ready for this. 54 for Grogan is 36. Incomplete. Fourth down. And just like that, New England is going to be forced to punt on their opening possession and uh, just can't get it done. Miami ready for that in all its glory. Feagles 25 Feagles with a 6 46 yards 2 10 20 30 40 and 4 they must return it from the 6 they cannot let it bounce so this is going to feature um, Sway, uh, Scott Swade is and 15, he's going to go for 20. Seven yard punt return, we'll take that. Out to the 13 yard line. Forced to return that as he doesn't realize that he I should have let that bounce, right? All right, if we pass, we're going to Farrell Edmonds. He had a brilliant first game against Buffalo. Dan Marino threw four touchdowns, two picks early in the game. Ended up throwing four interceptions the remainder of the game. Our four touchdowns remain of the game. And here we go. It is run versus standard. 63 for Jensen. Jensen's going to get his lone carry of the day. No, not quite. Minus two. Not lone, but one, two. He's not, as you can see there, minus two. He's not the main runner for this team. He was a great receiver, though, more of a tight end. And again, we're going to stick with Edmonds being the target pass. Oh, they caught him. Play action. Play action fake to Sammy. Dan Marino turns quickly and throws a strike. Uh, he's a B, so no modifier, but we get to modify due to this. So seven, 17 yard strike to Farrell Edmonds. Nine and eight. First down for Dan Marino. Throws it. So Miami with two first downs on the day. Let's see if they can get a drive going now. That was beautiful. We're going to look for Mark Clayton if it's a pass next time. No, they're going to hand it off versus a pass defense. So they drop into soft coverage, and, and Smith's going to get some room to run. 19, down one due to the defense. Five yards for Smith. Second down and five. Second and five. All right, if we pass, we're looking for Jim Jensen from Boston University. Run versus run. They're going to hand it off to Smith. 52. Smith's going to get nowhere. Third down. Third and five. Got to get something here, guys. All right, we're going to go for, wait a second, Farrell Edmonds got a pass. There we go. We're going to pass to Duper on this one. Yes, we are. Pass versus pass, 64. Dan Marino takes a deep drop, and it's up and out with Dan Marino. Ten right defense negates the receiver grade. 64 is 10. He's going to throw a 12-yard strike for a first down. Dan Marino on third down and long. Throws a strike. First down strike to Mark Duper. That's Duper's second catch of the day. He's got three to give. Mark Clayton will be the next target. It's going to be pass versus pass. So they're definitely ready for Dan Marino. Again, deep drop. Sets, fires. It's going to be 10. Correct defense negates Clayton, so it's going to be a 10. It's another 12-yard strike. 10, 11, 12. First down, Dan Marino with back-to-back 12-yard -back passes. And first downs. Mark Clayton's first catch of the day. There we 
go. Just slide over here just a bit so I'm not right in the camera. All right. Wow, Dan Marino looking good. We're going to go to Jim Jensen if it's a pass. Yes, pass versus standard. So they're playing safe defense now. Dan Marino looking for Jensen out of the backfield. Or I should say from a double tight. He slides out to the, uh, to the right, to the left tackle's hip. And becomes a second tight end. 13. 13 is 12. Jensen is an A. No defense. So we're going to go down one to 11. It's going to be an 11-yard strike. Three first down strikes on this drive. They're just crisp, sharp passes. Dan Marino for 12, 12, and 11. And he's just picking apart this not-so-good New England defense. And Jensen's first catch. And Jensen's uh, now a B for the remainder of the day. He has 1A to give. He just got it. He's a B now for the remainder of the... Well, he has six catches at B, and then he becomes a C. So I'm still going to be tallying Jim Jensen's catches. That's brilliant. All right, so Jensen's already a B. He's got his catch, but it was a first down. We're going to look for Mark Clayton if it's a pass. Yep, pass versus pass. So again, he drops. The pocket sets up between them. Sammy Smith and Jim Jensen trying to protect him from this 34 defense. And 53, Dan Marino with an 11-yard strike. It's going to be 11 and a first down, 7 and 4. Holy cow, folks, they have no answer for Dan Marino as he is carving them up. That is his fourth pass over uh, 10 yards. And Clayton gets his second catch. You can see how this team scored 45 against Buffalo. Uh, we're going to look for um, Edmonds on this one. Yep, it's going to be a pass to Edmonds. Standard defense, 66. It's going to be a touchdown. Dan Marino, he threw two touchdowns in week one to Edmonds. Edmonds is going to catch a nice pass of uh, 21 yards. TD. Marino to Edmonds. That's Edmonds' second catch. 21 to Edmonds. Extra point Stojanovic is the kicker for this team. There he is. And the crowd here in New England, stunned silent after Marino literally bang, 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 and a fifth completed pass on this drive, a 21-yard strike in the middle of the field to Farrell Edmonds. 34 is 35. It is no good. Believe it or not. No, he got it. He got it. Whew. P-A-T. And it is 7-0 Miami. Late in the first quarter. 12 is the kickoff. 15. Four-yard line. Uh, for Sammy Martin. 32. Sammy Martin's going to bring this out 10. Not bad. 23 yards out to the 27. All right. New England fans uh, trying not to lose their, their confidence in this team early in the season as they've watched the Jets uh, beat them in the week one um, at home. Now they're at home against Miami. What are they going to do? Stanley Morgan will be the target for Grogan if it's passed. Yep, pass versus standard, 41. Grogan drops, sets, incomplete. Second down. Oh, we're going to stay looking for Morgan. He hasn't caught a pass yet. It's a pass. No, they're going to hand it off to Stevens on a standard defense. Miami playing it safe. 23 is 28, loss of one. Steven gets hammered in the backfield. Miami, they're about to force another three and out here, folks. And it is pass versus pass. 14, Grogan. 29 is going to go down in a sack. He loses four yards. One, two, three, four. And the sack man on that is 55. That's going to be the fourth highest man for Miami. Cross is a six. God, they're not very good. So one, two, three. So four is offered all. Wow, so offered all who watches Perriman. When Perriman doesn't come out of the backfield, Offerdahl blitzes, and Perriman can't pick him up, and Offerdahl brings down the six foot four Grogan for a loss of four. Offerdahl with a sack. Fantastic. And it is, um, let's see, he, uh, passed, ran, sacked. Fourth down, they will punt. And right now, there is no doubt about it, uh, New England is up against it, 51. 51 is 6. It's going to be another good punt, though, 
10, 20, 30, 40, and 3. And we'll see what Suedas can do. And this will end the quarter. This will, uh, this return, you'll hear the gun sound and they'll signal for a change of ends. 44, wow, great punt return. 10, 10 is 9 yards. Up to the 41. Dan Marino has only 59 yards to go for another touchdown. And that, the gun sounds with that punt. And folks, it is Miami 7, New England nothing. Miami starting the second. If we pass, it'll be to Mark Clayton. Yep, pass to Clayton of 34. Dan Marino drops, sets, fires, incomplete. Second down. Finally, an incomplete pass for Danny Boy. We're going to look for Clayton again. No, going to hand it off. Wow, versus pass. Simi Smith's going to get a big run here. 22 is 15. He's going to go because we minus one for that six. 17 yards for Sammy Smith. 9 and 8 gets him 17 up to the 42 of New England. And again, the fans are getting restless. They don't want to go down by two scores to this Dan Marino club. We're going to look for Jim Jensen on the pass. Nope, he's going to hand it off again. Exact same thing, Sammy, but it's not quite as good a blocking. 32 is 25. No modifier, nowhere. So this time, they're ready for Sammy. As... Uh, Brent Williams reaches out, grabs that jersey, he can't get anywhere. We're going to look for Farrell Edmonds again. And Edmonds, by the way, has one more reception, then he drops to a C. It's going to be run versus standard, though. It's going to be Sammy Smith again, 56, 24. He's going to get one yard, third down and nine. Third and nine. We have no choice. We've got to look for Clayton this time. Let's see if uh, Shula's thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Nope, Shula's, Shula's content to give Sammy Smith another carry early. 64 is 19. There is no modifier up to 20, so it's a three-yard carry. One, two, three. That will make it a little easier kick from the 38 for Stojanovic. 38, 48, 55 yarder for Stojanovic. We're going to do it. We're going to give the kid a chance from Indiana. 63 is 16. 16 is blocked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Stojanovic blocked, 55-yard field goal blocked. Wow, let's see who recovers this. It goes three yards, so it topples, it manages to get tipped and make it back uh, over the line of scrimmage, bouncing around three yards beyond the original line of scrimmage. 46, the recovery on this is 0-2. It's scooped up by um, the offensive, uh, where's he at? Dellenbach is going to recover this to save, uh, to keep uh, New England from picking it up and returning it. But he has no return, so Dellenbach cannot return this. But they at least uh, fall on that, keeping New England from picking it up and running with it. Uh, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be um, first down for New England at the 35. Holy cow. So New England, the fans roar with that as that saves them from falling down by two scores here in this first half. It is 7-0 Miami. New England's dodged a bullet. So Don Shula talking to the special teams coach, trying to determine what went wrong up front there with the blocking to allow, um, to allow New England to get a big paw on that punt. All right. Here we go. Stanley Morgan's the target. Nope, we're going to run versus pass. Miami drops into his zone. 66. Stevens is gone. K. What can Stevens do? 21 on a K. He's going to go 16. Wrong defense. 17 yards for Stevens. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. The crowd roars as they're now sensing momentum has shifted in their favor. Stanley Morgan's still our target. He has yet to catch a pass today. It's going to be run versus standard. 32. Stevens gets this carry. 26 goes nowhere, second down. We're going to bring in uh, Wansley for Stevens. Give uh, give Stevens a break here. We're going to continue to look for Morgan as he has yet to catch a pass. It is second and 10. Yeah, pass versus standard. 64 for Grogan. Looking for Morgan. He drops, sets, fires. Morgan is an A, so he's going to go down one to nine. 15 yard strike. Three. 10 and 2. First down on a deep end there. Stanley Morgan 
is a tough man to cover, folks. And that's his first completion and first catch of the day for Grogan. Uh, first uh, completion for Grogan. First down at the 33 of Miami, New England. Threatening. It's going to be run versus run. Wansley's getting this carry. 14 is 11. Wansley's going to go for nothing. Wait, no, no, wait, push it up. Nothing. Doesn't matter if 12 is also nothing. Wansley out of the ball game. He got his token carry here of the first half. Did Wansley. John Stevens, 220-pound beast, is back in. And here we go. We're going to pass the ball, maybe. If we do, it's Irving Fryer. No, it's going to be a run versus run. 61 to Stevens. 20 add 1. 1 yard. Dang, third down and long. Third and 9. Again, we'll be looking for Urban Fryer if it's a pass. No, run versus standard. 35, they, they like to draw play here. 35 is 17. It's really a good call. 17 is 8 yards. Almost enough, folks. 7 and 8 is 4th and 1. It's 7 nothing. They blocked a kick. Do we go for it? 4th and 1 in our house. Or do we let uh, Stravowski take a field goal, make it 7-3? to three? Yeah, we have to. I mean, that's just the standard of practice. This would be a 31-40, uh, 24-34, 35, 41-yard kick is up and good. 33 is good. Uh, yep. So, a 40, uh, 24, 34, 41. Wow, they needed that 7-3. to three. And folks, this was starting to look like it was going to get ugly quick with Miami driving again, and then a blocked kick changed their fortunes. And St uh, John Stevens with a good run, a nice 15-yard strike to, Urban, uh, to Stanley Morgan, and New England is in the game now. Kickoff, 52. 52 is 41. It's going to be a great kickoff, 5-yard line. However, the most dangerous kick returner so far on the season has already got two kick return touchdowns. That is Mark Logan. So at any moment, he can change this game. Oh, he almost did. 19. It's going to be every time you roll the dice, super dangerous. 25 yards. He's out to the 30 again. The best weapon in football right now in this early in this season is Mark Logan. And if they score a lot of points, these guys have a lot of opportunities to bam, hammer you. It's almost worse. Do you want to win these games? If you're if you if you're the Dolphins opponent, you want to win nine. You want to win, you know, nine to uh, seven, <laughs> ten to twelve. You know, you don't want to be kicking a lot of kickoffs to this guy, Logan. Wow. Outstanding. And Stravowski has added a field goal. Miami takes over at the 30, first down. If we pass, it's going to be to Jim Jensen. And yes, indeed, he drops back versus a safe defense. 26, Dan Marino looking for his second tight end slash pullback. 16, uh, he's a B, no modifier. It's going to be a four-yard pass to Jensen. And that's the way you do it. Cut those yardage down. Very successful pass for the Mike, for Dan Marino. Now he can do whatever he wants to do. We're going to look for Mark Duper on this next one. Yep, pass versus safe again, so um, they're trying not to give up too much to Dan Marino. They might have to start picking a poison here. 62 to Mark Duper. 62 is 18. He's a 5, so 17 incomplete. Third down and 6. Third and 6. We've got to look for Mark Clayton on this one. And no, he's going to draw play. Oh, but they're ready for it. And it's a snake, guys. So Sammy Smith's going to get 15. Right defense makes it 16. 11 yards. He went from 17 to 11. So 11 yards. Either way, it's a first down for Dan Marino. What a call. On third and long, they went with a safe draw play to the big kid, 226-pound Sammy Smith. And New England, although ready for it, the blocks of this offensive line make way, and Sammy picks up 11. First down at the 45-yard line of Miami. And Miami again in business with another first down today. Snaps the ball. It's going to be run versus pass. So now they're thinking Marino might take a shot. Well, they're wrong. Sammy Smith gets 17. Uh, wrong defense goes down one to 16. Another 11-yard run. 
So he weaves his way through traffic, dragging carriers, and we got a back-to-back 11-yard -back carries. And now Sammy Smith's looking good. We're going to have to break him, though. We're going to bring in Stradford. Give him a break. And Stradford is an A receiver. At least he has one A catch to give. And we're going to throw. If we throw, we're throwing to Stradford. No, we're going to hand it off to Stradford versus a safety. 44, Stradford finds a gaping hole thanks to this front five. And Stratford against Standard is going 16. He rumbles for 11 and a first. 9, 10, 11. Oh, my God. So Dan Marino threw five strikes in a row for their first touchdown. Now they're running like that, right? Four, you know, bang, 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 bang. And, and New England's defense, which is only a 33, doesn't know what hit it. That was a run, by the way. So Stratford still has his A rating. If we pass, we're looking for duper. Run versus run. They're ready for this run, finally. 45 for Stratford. 45 is 22. It's going to be up one. 23, he gets two. Stratford fights through uh, as a defense crashes down. Uh, we're looking for Clayton. If we pass, I'm leaving Stratford in the ball game. Pass versus pass. And 65, Dan Marino drops sets. He's looking for Mark Clayton, and it's going to be incomplete. Third down. Third down. We're going to leave Stratford in, and if we pass, we're passing for Stratford. And it is run, so they're going to they're going to draw play with Stratford again here, but they're ready for it. 36. 36 is 23. Two more yards for Stratford. One, two. It's fourth down. So Stratford gets two carries on that final series and uh, does not get through after some brilliant early runs on this drive. And they're going to bring out Stojanovic again. Um, 39, 46-yarder for Stojanovic. The last one was blocked. Let's see if Stojanovic can get this. 62 is 42. It's good. Stojanovic with a 46-yard field goal. And it's 10-3 Miami. Stojanovic with a kickoff. So, so far, Miami's drives have been beautiful. They just haven't been able to get in the end zone or score consistently, I should say. 40, good kickoff, three-yard line. Again, this is a divisional rivalry. So far, it is, it's, yeah, Miami has got the edge on offense, and they would have. Um, but New England, thanks to a blocked kick and a pretty good drive, is staying in this ballgame. 42, 42 is 18. That's a 27-yard return out to the 30. So Sammy Martin uh, is able to also get his team out to the 30-yard line. And here we go. We're going for Stanley Morgan if it's a pass. Nope, it's going to be John Stevens up the gut, 56. And it's going to get one yard as they're trying desperately to establish some kind of footing in the ground. Uh, pass versus run. They caught him, 54. Can Grogan find a target, though? No, incomplete. Third down. They need Grogan to be better. Snap. It's going to be run versus run. So Miami's ready for this draw play to Stevens. 21 is one yard. It is fourth down. And New England, just predictable. That was just poor execution. Completely predictable. Fiegel's back out on the field. And the fans here may be getting restless now, right? Because Miami's moving up and down the field. And they know their team is just holding on here. 24 on the punt is 33 and plenty of room to return it. 10, 20, 30. So fielded at the 35 is Suedes. Scott Suedes. Suedes. 14. He's going to go 34. That's a fumble, folks. Oh, minus three. So he catches it, goes right, gets hit. Spun around, ball comes loose, bounces backwards. The ball is loose, folks. This is gigantic. And the uh, again, in my rules, the uh, the offensive team is the team kicking off. The defensive team is the team defending. In case it's a fake, right? So if we're talking about platoons, just because a punt returner is back, that's the defense. In case there's a fake or a fourth down, go for it or something, right? So if D comes up, it's actually Miami. Twenty-three. 23 is recovered by, oh, it goes out of bounds. So lucky for Miami. So he ran it basically to the edge and, and tried to reverse field. And the ball got popped and bounced out of bounds. Loss of three. 
So Miami is going to take over in the final two minutes of the first half uh, at their own 32. And we're going to look for Duper if it's a pass. Nope. Playing it safe. Stratford gets his, another carry today. 17. He's going to rumble for 8 yards. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Uh, 5 yards thanks to the defense. Second down and 5. Stratford's had some pretty good off-the-bench stuff. I'm going to leave him in because he's an A receiver. Matter of fact, we're going to look for Stratford. If this is the pass, it's going to be a swing out to Stratford. It is indeed. Dan Marino drops, sets, fires it out. They're going to break even on a 10, 12 yards. And that is a first down as my as Marino finds Stratford. But that is it for Stratford. He's now a B for the remain for at least the next six catches. Wow, and Jensen, by the way, is a B. All right, so all of a sudden, there uh, some two of their A's are now B's. Mark Clayton will be the target that's a pass. Remember, this is the final two-minute drive of the first half, and it is 10-3, Miami. Pass versus pass. He's looking for Clayton. 15 is 5. Oh, my, 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 my. And it breaks even, so 19-yard strike. 9 and 8. First down at the 32, and Dan Marino wants to take a little more luggage into the locker room here. By way of points, it's going to be pass versus run. He caught him. It's a draw play action, and they bet it. And he pops up, fires a 54 incomplete. He cannot meet. He gets a little bit. He steps up a second early, does Dan, against that pressure on a fake uh, and um, uh, overthrows Mark Duper. Not like Dan Marino to overthrow a target like Duper, but he does. Right, Dan Marino juiced up to get some points before half. Oh, they're ready for it this time. He rolls. He's looking for Mark Clayton. Takes two steps. When I say roll, I mean Dan Marino takes two steps on the pocket to the right. Dan Marino didn't do a lot of rolling out. He was a perfect pocket passer. He moved around beautifully in the pocket. 43. 43. He shifts to the right in the pocket to avoid pressure. And guess what, folks? 26. He tucks it and he runs. Dan Marino is running 61, and poor Dan is going to get loss of one, so he tries to run third down. Technically, that is a sack. Statistically, they'll record this as a sack, and that sack is coming by the fourth highest man in New England. One, two, three. It's going to be McGrew, it looks like. Yeah, Larry McGrew, outside backers. Dan Marino rolls to the right. And he sees a opening. He starts to take a step. McGrew uh, grabs him by the jersey and holds him up, pulls him to the ground safely. Dan Marino always cognizant of where his legs and feet were at. And Dan Marino consequently stayed fairly healthy. The few times he was sacked, he always seemed to know how to avoid injury. And it is third down. Jeez. Unbelievable. Loss of one. So he overthrows Duper, then gets sacked. It's third down. We're going to be looking for Clayton on this one. And Dan Marino would like to come away with a touchdown. Pass versus standard. So they're playing it safe just in case they're going to get a draw play for Stratford. 42. Dan Marino drops, sets. 9. He's going to fire an 8. It's 8. 13 yard strike. It's a first down, folks. Can you believe it? On third and long, Dan Marino down to the 20 with a beautiful strike to Mark Clayton. And that is Mark Clayton's third reception of the first half. Clayton's down. He has four to give for the remainder of the game. We're going to look for Farrell Edmonds in the red zone here, baby. And we're B. So red zone is everybody's a B in the red zone. It's a run, though. Run versus standard. So, again, New England playing it safe. Oh, 44. Stratford gets great blocks up front. 16. 16 is going to be 11 yards. Stratford gets him down inside the nine. First and goal to nine. Dan Marino, an excellent drive. And again, if we pass, it'll be to the tight end, Jim Jensen. They're a B anyway, so might as well be B. Since we're since everybody's a B, might as well use these B receivers or C receivers, which they don't have. First and goal at the nine. Dan Marino threatening. It's going to be a handoff versus run defense. 21. Stratford gets this carry one yard. And it is second down and goal from the eight. And we're going to have to bring in the big boy, Sammy Smith, 226 pounds. And if we run, I mean, uh, if we run, it'll be Jim Jensen. Uh, if we pass, it'll be Jim Jensen. Yep, it's going to be a draw play, actually. Catch him in the wrong defense. So Marino fakes the handoff to Sammy Smith, pops up, and 64, he fires it out for a touchdown. 
to Jim Jensen. Dan Marino finds Jensen wide open on a play action pass. Marino, eight yard pass to Jensen. The extra point by Stojanovic. So Miami has had almost a flawless first half. The only thing was a blocked kick. 64 is good. Can you imagine that? And it is 13, uh, 17 to 3. So Dan Marino and company are on pace to get this uh, 34 to 6 victory in the first half. Uh, they score 10 points in the second quarter. Should have been 13, but for a block. New England does get a field goal after a decent drive, a 41-yard field goal by Stroyovsky, and New England will get the ball to start the second half. And here we go. Let's go ahead and start the second half. We're doing pretty good here on time. 63 is 16. The kick, whoop, 63 is 31. Nine-yard line. Good room here for Sammy Martin. Sammy Martin, 5'11", 175 from LSU. 54. 54 on this return is 31 as well. 26 yards. 11, 21, and 5. Out to the 35-yard line is Sammy Martin, giving his New England offense plenty of room to work. Can Grogan get New England back into this ball game? If we pass, it's going to be to the great Stanley Morgan. Yep. Oh, and they catch Mer they catch Miami crashing, trying to cut down John Stevens, and Grogan has to make a good pass here. Eighteen minus one incomplete. Grogan just can't find the broadside of a barn right now. Pass versus standard forty one. Grogan looking for Morgan. Forty one is incomplete. Even with Morgan's a third down. Man, they're gonna have three and out again. No, they're gonna run it. Draw play. Oh, draw play to thirty one. Oh, he's gonna get he's gonna get eight yards, five, six, seven, and eight. Boy, they really should be running the ball because Grogan is not getting the job done. Fourth down, it is 17 to 3, early in the third. Oh, we got a punt. I just I hate it. <laughs> I hate punting it away to a team I know is just gonna keep adding to the score. But we have to. We have we can't give them a short field. 32, Fiegels, give me a good punt. Oh, and it's a horrible punt. 35 yards, 2, 10, 20, 30, and 3. Fielded by Suedes at the 22-yard line. And here we go, Miami, 6'1", 182-pound Syracuse man, 65. He's going to rumble out for 26. It's nowhere. He tries again to run laterally to get around this coverage, and he gets stopped for no gain. And there you have it. The coach, I can hear Shula say to the kid as he comes off the field, hey, kid, upfield, run upfield. I know they're scary. I know they're coming down at you, but you got to make a move, a simple move to the right and go, simple move to the left and go. Quit running toward the sidelines. You're not going to outrun these guys. This is why Swades probably didn't return a lot of punts for long. I don't remember Swades being around for years, but I remember him. So, all right, Dan Marino. Sammy Smith back behind center, I mean back behind Marino. Jim Jensen at fullback slash halfback, or what you would call the H-back, which the H-back in the 80s became incredibly popular uh, in Washington to protect his quarterback. So Washington used an H-back liberally, really, really. Uh, I love the 80s because we saw all these beginnings of all of these Strategic choices, all of them in dealing with guys like Lawrence Taylor or trying to spread out defenses. Dan Marino, if he throws, is going to be looking for Mark Duper. And here we go, folks. The fans on their feet. They're trying to stay in this ballgame, although they're disappointed in their offense. Oh, and they're going to be in the right defense for this. Oh, but Smith's going to get great blocking. 16. They're going to, uh, it's going to be a plus one due to the defense at least. 17 is eight yards. So at least that keeps it from being a double-digit carry. For Sammy Smith's had a brilliant day so far. Oh, pass. Dan Marino now. They've got him safe. they got him thinking. Short yardage. He's looking for Duper. 52. 52 is 20. Incomplete. He can't find Duper. Third and two. Come on. Uh, if we pass, we're going to go for the tight end, Jim Jensen. Nope, they're going to run versus run. Oh, but it's Snake Eyes. Sammy Smith's going to go for 11 yards and a first down as they line up close 
They have nine men in the box, and when Smith steps through that first line of defenders, they have to turn and chase him down. You can see exactly how they could go from third and two to a long run. As once he breaks through that initial line of defense, they're chasing him. And Dan Marino, man, the guy has converted how many third downs? Either run or pass. Snaps the ball. It's going to be pass versus run. They're now worried about the run. Really? Mark Clayton's wide open. No, no, he goes down in a heap. One, two, three, four. A rare sack of Dan Marino. Who gets it? 42 is the third highest man. That's one, two. Vincent Brown, inside or outside backer. No, he's our inside backer. Vincent Brown coming on a blitz. Pulls down Dan Marino. Wow, Dan Marino goes down. It is second and 14, and it was a quick sack. You can imagine, as Dan Marino's dropping, that guy just comes rushing in. There we go. Man, second and 14. Dan Marino gets up, barks something at his right tackle. Uh, Dan Marino clearly not happy with his right tackle's recognition of the uh, blitz there. Uh, what's the adage? Take the inside man first. So right tackle has a, uh, has a job to do. Right? If there's a blitzer, he's got to decide outside or inside. You take the man closest to the quarterback. Well, you can imagine the right tackle took the blitz to the outside man and left the lane. Right? Dan Marino reminding his right tackle, telling his right tackle, Ronnie Lee, telling Ronnie Lee, dude, you take the inside closest man. You can't let him come right up my gut on me like that. Farrell Edmonds will be the target on second and long. It's pass versus standard. So, again, they're playing safe. But Dan Marino, perfect pass, 55. Marino throws a strike to Edmonds. No modifier at all here. So it's what we get for 23 yards. 3, 10, 20. First down at the 40-yard line. Farrell Edmonds collects his third reception of the day. He is now a C receiver, which means a, a plus one bonus to every one of Dan Marino's passes. So Edmonds now not really the target of the day, right? So we will be looking for um, Jim Jensen if it's a pass. Jensen has six catches to give before he hits. Uh, actually, Jensen has cut one. So he has six catches to give before he becomes a C. So he's now the primary tight end for Dan Marino. All right, it's going to be run versus run. Dan Mar oh, 33. I tell you, they're executing. Miami's offense is dominating this defense. 33. Sammy Smith gets a brilliant block, and he's going to go for 17, eight yards for Smith. That's all on the offensive line, executing up front. It is second and two. Jim Jensen's still the target if it's a pass. We're going to bring Stratford in because he can also catch. And Stratford has six to give before he becomes a C. All right, pass versus safe. 36, looking for Jensen. 36 is 14, uh, no modifier either way. 14 is seven yards to Jensen and a first down. Dan Marino picking apart. New England with, with runs and passes. If we pass, we're going to Boston College's Troy Strand. Yep, pass versus run. They're expecting a run. 55, he's going to throw a perfect strike. He's a B, uh, so it won't affect, uh, and it's the wrong defense. So we're going to actually move this down one to three. Touchdown, 38 yards. So out of the backfield, Dan Marino. Marino throws his third touchdown of the day. This one, 25 yards to Stratford out of the backfield. And Stoyanovich getting tired here, having to kick all these extra points. 26, that's a bit of an exaggeration. I know seven. Oh, it's good, though. Stoyanovich makes another extra point. And Dan Marino and company, it's 24 to 3. Uh, and the New England fans here are, at this point, are completely restless. They're starting to hear a rain of boos coming down from the... Some of the fans here um, in New England, Gillette Stadium, 54. Stoyanovich kicks this off, 33, 11-yard line. And 24-3, late in the third, a lot of fans just not happy about this. 63, the return is 11. 11's good, uh, 21 yards, out to the 32 again. So, again, great returns for both these guys today. 
Mark Logan. They've kept Mark Logan in check because they haven't had to kick it off. So they can't give Mark Logan all those touchdowns. Stratford, by the way, folks, that now is his first catch as a B receiver. He has five to give. All right, here we go. Stanley Morgan, a little perturbed. He hasn't caught a pass. No, he has. He's caught just one pass. All right, it's going to be run versus uh, standard. 31. Steven's going to get a great run here. Eight yards. Second and two. Beautiful. If, you can, if you're going to run, at least run well. It's going to be run versus run. 64. Stevens gets this carry. 18. Up 1. 19. 2 in the first. 1 2. First down for New England. The fans roar as if they've scored touchdowns because that's their first first down in two quarters, folks. Miami has dominated this game. All right. Ah, finally, they've got them thinking run. Pass versus run. They're going to get, we're going to get two removed from this if it's even remotely close. Grogan, 15, 13, nine yard strike to Morgan. Second and one. Grogan finally finds Morgan for a second time. We're going to be looking for Eric Sievers to tie it in on the next one. Nope, it's run versus safe. 14. Stevens is going to run this ball for 14. 14 is four yards. He gets the league average and a first down. And that's it. The fans now on their feet getting excited as New England has now converted two first downs on this drive. And it has been a, it has been a minute since their last first down uh, prior to these two. All right. It's run versus safe. And we're going to get 25. 25 is 17. Eight more for Stevens. Five. Holy cow. Third and two. John Stevens is a beast. You just got to run him. You know, you got to run the guy. We're staying with tight end Seavers as our primary. Wow, they are definitely expecting a pass here. So uh, it pitches it out to Stevens for one yard. We had him in the defense we wanted. It's third and one. Stevens, we should have ran up the middle. Here we go. Seavers is still going to be the target if Grogan puts the ball in the air. Yep, he finally does. And, of course, third and one, Miami's in the run defense. That's smart. Stevens has got to get this done himself, though. Uh, wrong defense. It's going to be 16, 11 yards again. He rips through against the tight defense and safeties. Literally, that's why they're called safeties. They're the last line of defense. They have to pull him down. And this is New England's best drive of the entire game. That little smattering of booze after the last touchdown for Miami has maybe stoked the fires of competition in this offense. It's going to be run versus pass. And a beautiful handoff to 56. This, though, is not going to be as good as they'd like. One yard for Stevens. That's twice they've caught him in the wrong D, and they can't execute a block up front. Sievers is still the target. He hasn't thrown yet. No, it's another run. 46. Stevens is getting the load here. One yard. Third and eight. And Stevens, at this point, has got to be tired. He's literally carried the ball how many times? I don't know. Mosey Tatupu's coming in. Bob Perriman and Tutupo. If we pass, it's going to be deceivers. It's third and eight. They have to pass. No, he's going to hand it off to Tutupu. 32. 25, nowhere. Fourth down. And the fans start booing. Is this drive They too predictable? Run, 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 run. Stuck. You just can't be that predictable. The defense is home. And they are, are they about to come out here down 24 to 3 and kick a field goal? No, they're going to have to go for it. And we're going to look for Irving Fryer on this one. It's fourth down and eight. And we got to pass it. No, he's going to hand it off to Perriman. Oh, the, the boos are raining down. 22. It's going to be two yards. Uh, one, two on a draw play. It fails miserably. The Dolphin defense comes charging off the field as boos literally fall upon the New England offense as they stroll off the field, heads down, dejected. And that is a TOD. Down 24-3, you do things you don't normally do. However, a draw play there, bad idea. If we throw, we're throwing for Mark Clayton. Yep, pass versus Dan Marino wants more points. 21, Dan drops back, plants that left foot, or that right foot, and fires a 15-yard strike. No, excuse me, throws 15, which is a three-yard pass to Clayton on a turnaround. One, two, three, second down. 
yards. Oh, and Mark Clayton's going to get his fourth catch of the day. He has three to give. And we're going to go to Mark Duper if it's a pass. Nope, handoff versus a pass D. Stratford, 62. Stratford gets one yard. Third down and five. Third and five. We're going to have to bring back in the horse, Sammy Smith. Actually, I might bring in Lorenzo Hampton. Davenport. Let's bring in Hampton. Let's give... Smith has had a great day. We're going to bring in Lorenzo Hampton. Again, for passing, it's to Duper. If we're running, it's to Hampton. Pass versus run. They're expecting it. Oh, Dan Marino throws a perfect strike. Three. Uh, Duper is a minus one. Minus two. That's a touchdown. Dan Marino throws a 75-yard bomb to Mark Duper. Marino, two, minus two on that makes it a one touchdown. 75-yard bomb to Duper. The Mark brothers were dominant. And there it is. Dan Marino, big smile on his face as he read that all the way. As they showed bump and run. He knew that his protection was going to hold. He drops... And that quick release, he fires a perfect strike. Duper catches it in stride, and there ain't nobody that's going to catch Duper. And I can't find my field goal kicker. Where's Stoy? There he is. 56. 56 is 42. It's good. Stoyanovich adds to this lead. And it's 31-3 to at the end of the third quarter. Marino threw two touchdowns in that quarter. New England is shut out again. It is 34-3 going into the fourth quarter. And this game is over. Fans are leaving Gillette Stadium early. The few that remain stay to taunt New England Patriots from the from the bench or at the bench. Thirty-two is the kickoff. Thirty-two is seven. Seven is six yard line. So all that's left, all the only Patriot fans willing to stay are those that would like to curse their players. Forty-five. These Boston fans can be ranked. 19. They can demand some things. 31. Great kick return. They're going to come away from this game with one positive to say. That is that Sammy Martin has been a pillar of consistency in this drubbing by Miami. Wow. I love the 1989 season. is just superb. It's unbelievably fun. This is... It's. I, I hate to admit it. I love my 57, 58, 59 replays and the sets. I love those players and those teams, but the 89 season has been already in 20 games. So much fun. So much fun. All right. Well, Tatupu's leaving. John Stevens is coming back in. We're going to go to a three back set. Uh, excuse me, one back set. And we're going to bring in one of these other A receivers, Cedric Jones or Hartley Dykes. Let's bring in Hartley Dykes. He's an A5, folks. He is worth every bit of that rating. And we're now going to pass the ball at, when I want to. So I'm not going to rely on the dice anymore. It's just getting ridiculous. So um, I'm going to have the right to veto this. And we're going to look for Hartley Dykes on the first play. And if this is a play I don't like, I will veto it. Uh, that's a run to Stevens. Uh, they're in a safe defense. We're going to let Stevens get this carry. 63-21. Stevens is going to get one yard. Yeah, see, I should have vetoed that. Second and nine. i got to veto it now. Right? It's get, yeah, so it's going to be pass versus safe. 13 to Hartley Dykes. Come on, Grogan. Don't turn it over. 12. He's an A. Wrong defense. So we're going to go down to 11. It's an 11-yard strike and a first down. 8, 9, 10, 11. So what thing's for certain about New England? They have a good back. They have great receivers. Uh, they just can't seem to can't seem to find the rhythm. How many, how many times have we run and pass? They're not mixing it up well. The dice just aren't supporting them. And it seems like no matter what I rolled for Miami, beautiful. <laughs> so Hart Lee Dykes gets his first catch. He's got four to give. Stanley Morgan will be the next target, and we are going to pass. I'm not even going to roll this. We are going to pass. Versus safe. 16. Grogan drops back. 18. Minus one. 17. Incomplete. There it is. Second long. It's going to be pass versus pass now. Not going to bother to roll the defense. Grogan looking for Stanley Morgan. Drops back 26. 26 is 16. They break even four yards. It's third down and six. We're going to pass this time. So Morgan caught another pass. That's his third. Urban, or actually, we're going to look for Seavers on this play. Pass versus pass. 56. Grogan drops back. Sets his feet. Fires it out. Batted away by that off by uh, outside linebacker Hugh Green. Fourth down. They don't have a choice. 
Um, it's already a blowout. Do I go for it? I mean, the New England cannot. Ah, I just, I hate, well, there's got to be some pride here, but you punt the ball. It's 33, it's 31-3 in the fourth. We're going to punt. I mean, I know it's, it's, I would say giving up, but, you know, it's just the only thing to do. 22 is for good punt. 53 yards. Oh, touchback. So I have screwed the pooch for New England there. I probably should have went for it. And then I fell the coffin corner it. Oh. Dan Marino is thrown. Let's take a look at this. Oh, my fault, Patriot fans. Marino's thrown one, two, three, four touchdowns again. Two weeks in a row he's thrown four touchdowns. And uh, we're going to bring in Davenport. Take it. We're going to take out Smith and Jensen. You guys have earned your uh, paychecks. We're going to bring in uh, Hampton and Davenport. And uh, I think Jensen can play quarterback too. No, he cannot. Not in this year. There's one of, one of those seasons. Uh, Jensen was a, like a disaster quarterback, I think. I'm going to take out Marino. You know, he's got four touchdowns. Game is basically over. So Dan Marino is going to get a, a, a Tom Brown fullback too. Hmm. Uh, Fred Banks, Kinchin. Jeez, I forgot. I mean, there are so many players. Fifty-three or four players here, man. Uh, Cliff Stout or Scott Seacules. Um, we're going to go with Scott Seacules. Dan Marino comes off to booze, of course, uh, as everyone here in New England hates Dan Marino. Uh, so Dan Marino will exit with a big smile on his face, waving to the fans as they boo him, as he is going to get the opportunity early in the fourth to watch the remainder of this game with the coaches. Scott Seacules comes in with backups, Ron Davenport and company. And again, I'm going to I'm going to reserve the right to veto bad rolls, as this game is 31-3. It's pretty much over. All right, if we pass, it will be to Davenport. No run versus pass. So New England's worried that Seacules will get an opportunity to break uh, to have a, a chance to pass here. Uh, uh, Hampton 53, uh, 53 is 21. It's going to be uh, 20. Um, Three yards, thanks to the defense. One, two, three. Second and seven. Ron Davenport's still the target on the pass. Yep. So on second and seven, it's going to be pass versus run. So they're expecting now Hampton to get a carry. C Kules, folks, for his first shot, 14. C is a plus one. Wrong defense is minus one, so even. Scott C Kules is going to complete his first pass of the 1989 campaign. 14 is seven yards and the first down. And fans now are throwing beer cups. Uh, they're throwing their paper beer cups at the bench here in New England as uh, Scott Seacoles completes a pass to Davenport. And Davenport has actually got one more to give before he becomes a D. If we pass, it'll be the Rolenzo Hampton. Nope, it's going to be run versus run, as it should be. However, the blocking here up front is perfection. And fans start to boo as Hampton hits uh, eight. And Hampton's going to rumble on eight for six yards. Second and four. Second and four. At this point, we're going to run Davenport versus run D. I'm going to reserve the right to call defense now, too. And it's going to be run versus run. 63 is 29. Oh, he's going to lose two. And it's third down. Third down and a six. And uh, he wants his quarterback, his young backup quarterback, to have experience. So we're going to pass the ball versus pass defense to Mark Clayton. So Seacule is going to have a chance to throw for a first down here. Oh, and he does! Oh, my God. Right defense, A. They cancel each other out. 66. Box scores is three. It's a 38-yard strike to Clayton, 11, 21, 31, and 7. 38-yard strike, Scott Seacules, to Mark Clayton. That is Clayton's fifth reception. He has two to give before he falls to a B. And Seacules is a beast. And right now, New England fans disgusted as a backup quarterback is driving the ball. If we pass, it'll be to Mark Duper. Yep, pass versus pass. 42. Seacules drops back. 42 is 14. 
It's going to be an even exchange thanks to the defense. 42 is 14. It's going to be a completion for 7. And Seacules looks good right now. Second and 3. He has completed 3 passes. Mark Duper. No matter what I do, folks, I, I can't stop Miami from pummeling New England. Uh, what do you want me to do? He has two more to give before he's fatigued. It is second and two. We are going to run on this versus run. And we're going to give it to Ron Davenport, the 230-pound fullback. 54. Davenport lowers his head, driving his legs, pushes out one, two, three, four yards, and a first down. And Miami is literally destroying New England in every possible way. We're going to run Hampton versus run now. Again, late in the game, or actually it's early in the fourth. Backups are in. 25 is going to be 9, uh, which is 10. 3 yards. 1, 2, 3. Second down and 7. We're going to run Davenport versus run. 43. They're just driving the guys off the ball. Oh, loss of 1. Kind of spoils that. Third down and 8. Third and 8. He is going to let... Uh, he is going to throw a pass to Hampton. We're inside the um, red zone, so they are B's or whatever they are, C. So Hampton's a C. Seacule is going to get another chance to pass. Pass versus pass, so it's going to be minus, plus two to Seacule's number. Oh, Bob scores! Seacule, three, plus two is five. Five is 19 yards. Touchdown, Scott Seacule's. What the heck? And the fans at this point are leaving. They are on their heels. And they're walking up and out toward the exits as they brain booze down upon New England in an absolute butt kicking. Hampton's going to catch a 15 yard strike to Hampton out of the backfield. And Dan Marino, with a big smile, gives Scott Seacoles a handshake as he comes off the field. Uh, 21. And you can read his lips. Told you it was easy. Dan Marino on TV. You can hear. You can see his lips as he says to Seacoles, reaching out with a smile and a handshake. Told you it was easy. <laughs> it's 21. 20. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It is good. Okay, he made the PA team. 38 to 3, folks. New England fans at this point are gone. And we're going to bring in backups for New England. Well, I mean, Grogan... Listen, have a seat, Grove, and think about it, right? You've not had what I would call the best day. Doug Flutie. Fans, what few fans are that are diehards stay are cheering on Doug Flutie as he enters the game. Little Doug Flutie. Mark Wilson from BYU, the ex-Raider quarterback. Here he is. Finds himself in New England. Uh, Marvin Allen at halfback. I might bring in Marvin. This has been great fun. I hope my camera's lasting here. This this is my old camera, and it just has an overheating problem. All right, we're going to bring in Marvin Allen. So Grogan and Stevens are going to get a break. We're going to stay with a three-receiver set. They just want to get out of this ball game, folks. New England. Actually, I think I'll bring back Tutupo and go back to a running game. We're going to let Morgan come out. We're going to leave Hartley Dyke. So we're going to bring in Cedric Jones for Irving Fryer. So Morgan's out, Fryer's out, Stevens is out, Grogan's out, Perriman's out, Tatupu is in, uh, and Seavers will stay in at tight end, and Doug Flutie, folks, is going to get an opportunity to work some Flutie magic. The Boston College kid is in the New England area. they got to love it, and I think I just put my defense away. No, there's no defense. All right, let's do the kickoff. Now, if they fumble this kickoff, I will have just wasted a lot of time here. 46, 41, it's going to be five-yard line. And Sammy Martin has been the lone positive of the whole day. 32, Sammy Martin, 32 is 26. That ain't so hot. Uh, 12 yards, ooh, that's his worst return of the day right there. All right. Wow, and we're going to roll the dice, and we're going to let New England run their offense. They're just going to do it with backups. If it's a pass, it's to Cedric Jones. Yep, pass versus standard. Little Doug Flutie drops back, looking. He's going to fire a completed pass, 14. He's going to throw a 7-yard strike. And what fans stay on their feet cheering as Doug Flutie very quickly drops back, sets, and fires a strike to Cedric Jones. Cedric Jones with a completion. He's got four to give before he becomes a B. If we pass, it'll be the Hart, a Hartley Dyke. Yep, pass versus standard. Oh, Doug Flutie with an 11. 
minus one, 51, Doug Flutie drops and heaves it to Hartley Dykes for 51, 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, and now the fans are cheering. New, other New England fans might be listening on radios on their way to the parking lot, and you can see them out there throwing hands in the air, hearing on the radio after they've left the stadium. They're in their cars, headed to their whatever the bus stop, the 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 the, the what is it? The subway? Do they have a? Do they have an L? They don't have an L uh, elevator, do they? I don't think in Boston uh, or the Massachusetts area. Well, this is actually would have been uh, Gillette Stadium, I think. Hartley Dykes. Hartley Dykes get his second catch of the day. Seavers will be the third man. And Doug Flutie sparking New England late. Maybe Doug Flutie will get the start next week. Run versus pass. Doug Flutie pitches this out to Marvin Allen, and he's going to rumble for one yard, second down. What fans are here are getting a look-see at this kid from Boston College who had a great little career in Canada. It's going to be run versus pass, 26 to, um, to Allen again. It's going to be, uh, where am I at here, 22 uh, yards for Allen, 1-2, third down and 7, third and 7. It's going to have to be a pass. I'm going to reject that. Pass versus pass, and it's going to be Seavers. Doug Flutie drops set, 63. Oh, he goes down for a loss of 2 in a heap. Dan, uh, the Miami Dolphins, said, we've seen enough of that. Fourth down, who got the sack? 23 is high. That's going to be um, Cross. Yeah, Hugh Green is second best. Cross gets the sack. So Biden's had two sacks today. And um, uh, New England's had, believe it or not, two sacks today. Of course, one was a run, a minus one run by Marino, which is counted as a sack. Wow, fourth down. They're going to go for it. I mean, there's no reason to kick a field goal here and a butt kicking. We're going to throw the ball to Cedric Jones. Doug Flutie drops back. We're in the. We're not in the red zone. Oh, touchdown, 66, boxcars. Flutie rolls to the right. He's rolling, rolling, rolling. Hugh Green is making chase, and Flutie fires it to the back corner to Cedric Jones. Touchdown, Doug Flutie, folks. 24-yard strike. 24 yards to Cedric Jones, and Cedric Jones now has three more to give before he falls to a B. He was an A there. That's one reason that was an easy uh, touchdown. And 14. Stravatsky's got to make this. 22. Oh, I don't know. Yep, he made it. And Doug Flutie, folks. 38 to 10. Doug Flutie comes in and throws a 51-yard bomb and a 24-yard strike for a touchdown. And we are going to kick it off. No reason to onside it. 21. The kickoff is 40. 40 is going to be three-yard line. Oh, no, and it's Mark Logan. Mark Logan has not returned a touchdown today. <laughs> he had two last week. Oh, 14. Every time you drop those dice, man, it's exciting. 31 is a 26-yard return out to the 29. Mark Logan, baby. What a team. Miami was 8-8, eight eight, folks. I, I honestly don't know how. I don't know how they were an 8-8 eight eight team. It had to be defense of woes. Uh, but their defense is actually rated better than their offense, 39. I don't know how this team is 8-8. Eight eight. I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, my God. And we're going to run versus run. It's no matter what we're running the ball. It's going to be uh, Hampton. 52. Run versus run. It's going to be 52. 52 is... Wow, he's going to lose one yard, second and 11. We're not letting Seacules throw the ball around the pitch now. We're going to run Hampton again. 22, uh, 20, excuse me, 21 is 25, nowhere, third down. We're going to run Hampton on this one. 14, 14 is 31. Oh, 14 is 31. Three yards for Hampton. He got it all back, plus one. It's fourth and nine. They will punt. Again, they're just wanting to get this game over with. Roby out to punt, 54, Roby's going to punt, 36, 43, and it's down, 9, 19, 29, 39, and 4, the ball is down at the 26, Doug Flutie comes charging out onto the field, um, stoic, I mean, he, there is no smile on Flutie's face as he understands what this means, their team is getting drubbed in front of what's an empty stadium, 
of diehard uh, uh, critics or fans, right? They're either the diehard love them or leave them fan is here, and they're either going to be screaming insults at New England or they're going to be are they going to be rooting for Doug Flutie or these guys? All right, Doug Flutie's going to pass, and it's going to be a pass to Eric Sievers, and of course they're going to stay in a pass defense. Doug Flutie, twenty-two. Drops, sets, fires, it's even, four, it's going to be a 23-yard strike, nine, 19 and four. First down at the 49, and fans, we're seeing the future of New England here as Doug Flutie is maybe, late in the game, going to get a couple of touchdowns. Uh, that was Eric Sievers, by the way. That's Eric Sievers' first catch. That is sad. The man has an A5. Uh, we're going to pass the ball to Hartley Dykes. 52, he drops back, starts to roll to the right, has to scramble. Uh-oh, Doug Flutie is dangerous. 44, Flutie takes off for uh, pass defense for nine yards. Six, seven, eight, nine, second down and one. Doug Flutie, the fans, what left or here, are cheering. And we're going to snap the ball. Second and one. We're going to play safe here, pass here. We're looking for Hartley Dykes. It's going to be 41, 41. He drops back. He's looking, 22. He's going to throw an incomplete pass. Um, wait, Hartley Dice moves it. Yeah, incomplete. Third down and one. We're going to keep it. Doug Flutie's going to keep it on a quarterback draw versus safe. So this is all Doug Flutie, baby. Quarterback draw, 51. He drops back, takes off nine. Two yards and a first down. Doug Flutie squeezes through for a first. And, folks, we are seeing what New England may have to do for the remainder of the year, or at least next week. Start Doug. All right, pass versus pass. We're looking for Cedric Jones. It's going to be 64. He drops back, sets up, and it's 64. He hard strike. Doug Flutie finds Cedric Jones for his third catch of the day. Still has two to give before he becomes a B receiver, and my camera is not going to make it. Hartley Dykes steps up, snap, 53. 18 incomplete, second down. Pass versus pass, looking for Hartley Dykes. 65 is 20, incomplete, third down. Oh, Doug, here we go. We're looking for Eric Sievers. We've got to get the first. And 46, he drops back, sets, incomplete. Fourth down, this is it. We're going to Hail Mary to Cedric Jones. And it's going to be 13. 13 is 18, incomplete. Ball falls dead, turnover on downs. The magic does come to a halt as Doug Flutie throws four straight incompletions to end this ball game. Uh, Seekills threw a 15-yard pass for Miami in the fourth in a backup roll. Flutie comes in and shows stardom in their only touchdown of the day. And it is 38, Miami 38. They are 2-0, folks, on the 89 campaign. New England scores 10, and they are 0-2. You can see how bad the Jets were. New England, it was 26-24. New England almost beat the Jets. The Jets, though, are worse. I mean, they're, they're actually a worse team, but those two teams. There you have it, man. What a great game. Marino throws one, two, three, four touchdowns before the fourth quarter is underway. Four touchdowns in three quarters. Seacules comes in and secures a fifth touchdown for Miami on, in, in, on point. What a game. And, folks, we did not see a fumble. Or an interception. Isn't that amazing? Not one fumble, not one interception in this whole game. This was a flawless game as far as turnovers. That's rare. That's rare. I think we had a fumble that was recovered by. Oh, we had a blocked. We had a, and we had a blocked um, a field goal, right? So we had a couple of. Of uh, Miami actually had a block which was recovered by the offense, right? All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Good day.